Hello there, Bindi. That's just, that's just nice. Got some old-timey music, though. What if I can open this? I don't know what I heard, but I heard something. Okay, I cannot open that. Oh, that's a hiding spot. I wonder what happens to our Bindi when the other Bindi shows up. Didn't realize you walked over here. Oh, wait. There we go. I forgot. Oh, it must be like a, uh... Monorail or something? Or a subway going by? Hmm. Interesting. How many of those do I have? Do I have enough yet? Oh, I have more than enough, actually. So I just need to find a, uh... Upgrade station now. It's really all I need at this point. Wait, scan ID. Looks like we need to find an ID card somewhere around here. Any ideas, Bendy? Oh, you know, I was just thinking I missed that. But I guess it it doesn't have anything in it anyways. Hmm. Maybe I can look in the trunks now. I can. Okay, so it's probably gonna be one of these cars. Mm, there were some trash cans I couldn't open before. No? Suitcases? Oh, what? Looks like we found a clue. I wonder if I could only open that if uh, Bindi was pointing at it. Alternatively, I just wasn't close enough for the prompt. So they said hotel. That's a pharmacy. Groceries. Chomp. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'll just start my own place. Oh, hey. Listen here, buddy. Hmm. I've seen I've seen backing up work for some people. Backing up has never seemed to work for me, but I might just not be good at it. There's the hotel. Let's search around and see if there's anything around here. Well, I guess I should probably eat these, shouldn't I? Almost sounds like Christmas music, which would be fitting. To be fit. Eh? Yes? Oh, the heck! No, oh, buddy, I don't think they're home. Okay, I guess that's all I can knock. Oh, don't worry, Bindi. I, I did knock. I can't knock anymore, however. It's kind of creepy in here. Oh, just in here, huh? Ah, I see. You just yeah, you just wait there for now. All right. You good down there? Looks like it. Oops, didn't want to really eat that, but okay. I know it told me which room. It was on a nightstand. I'm gonna search all the rooms I can regardless, so... Don't really need to look... Well, I might only be able to go into that one room, to be fair. Wasn't like room 8 or something? Yeah, I think it was room 8. Oh. No, it's not. I, I, I don't know where I got 8 from then. Wait, can I not... Hmm, none of these look interactable. Okay, that doesn't work. I feel like I'm doing... S okay, I feel like I do need to be up here. Am I just not hitting one of these right? Well, this doesn't even make the clicking sound. Can I go up? Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, I think there's someone above me. Well... This is why we have the cooldown. There's a Boris. Well, I guess I might as well. 
Oh, that does not give you much time, does it? Ah, here we are. Well, geez, oh, jeez. You haven't gotten far. Don't do that. Wait. How... How did you get in here? Oh, I have my ways. So tell me, how goes the journey? Slow, but I'll get through. Ah, I see you have your father's never quit go getter spirit. Oh, now you knew my father. Well, newsflash, I didn't even know my father. Or my mother. Or anyone else in my family. I see then. You've chosen to forget the past. I can understand that. <sighs> what are you talking about? Look, I don't think you're ready for this. But hang on to your lunch money. There's something I want to show you. Wait. What are you doing? So maybe she is. Heard people say she might be Henry's daughter. Don't know who else you could be referring to. Unless it's just a completely, like, new character. Oh, wait. Unless... There's a little story you need to hear. You ready? Here we go. Once upon a time, Audrey, there was a bitter old man who had lost just about everything. Joey. Right. The real Joey Drew. He blamed everyone but himself for his mistakes. But one day, a miracle happened. An angel came into Joe's life. A young woman by the name of Allison Pendle. She didn't visit often. But when she did, she saw something good in Joey no one else could, including himself. It was then Joey decided to make something new. Something he had always wanted, but he could never have. A wonderful, loving daughter. Bright, and kind, almost human. He created you, Audrey. What? Are you crazy? Listen. I know it's a lot to believe. Who do you think you are? I wasn't born from some machine. Flesh and, and blood. I'm not some kind of ink monster. Just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose. To believe what we want to believe. Take me back. Right now. I'm not listening to any more of your lies. Remember who you are, Audrey. Leave me alone! <sighs> It's not true. It can't be. Hmm, I'm gonna need to think about that a bit. Well, I think Benny's left. Wait, free from the cycle breakers? I thought you broke the cycle. I might have missed some of that while I was fighting. I'm trying to think of too many things at once. What was I going to do with this card again? I think something over here. And, oh dear. We are the keepers, huh? Oh, hello. Ooh, he doesn't like that. Neither do I, it would seem. Oh, shoot. Interesting, so they're the same. Well, that would explain why Ink Demon Bendy didn't come after me while uh, this Bendy was nearby. Well, this is a lot of bodies, it would seem. Oh, another security lock. Well, let's see what we got. Oh, sweet. About time. Oh, finally. Let's do that. Alright, let's see. Ah, oh, when it's charged up. Okay. I'll have to try that. 
I probably shouldn't step near that. Okay, it's probably something to do with these bodies on the ground. Hmm. Maybe that number of candles. That's four... Four two, maybe? Maybe two, four, four? Hmm. Okay, no, I guess not the number of candles in. Must be just missing something. Oh, maybe in here. Oh, five, two, three, there we go. Mm, voila. Okay, that was actually pretty simple. It just doesn't bother me. Oh. Oh, uh, what is it? A keeper, I imagine? Oh, that's not good. Got some portal vibes going on. Uh oh. Oh, let's just go uh, this way. Hopefully this works out. Not sure what that little uh, place with the two footprints was for though. Oh. Well, that's terrifying. That's certainly a creepy design, that's for sure. Oh wait, can I E this thing? Oh! Oh, jeez. Two hit. Uh-oh, where am I? Um... Okay. They are not to be triffled with, it would seem. Do not fight. Understand. And I also can't seem to banish them. Which is unfortunate. Don't know how wide their vision is either. Okay, there's a possible hiding spot there. Where did I come out from? I actually don't know uh, where I came out from. I have no idea where I am right now actually is not ideal. I might have come out from there. Maybe. That that might be where I... Okay, I'm gonna go... Yeah, I think this is where I came out from. Okay. Now that I know where I am... Alright, yeah, no, this is definitely where I came from. Alright, let's make it over here. Now this, me whacking this open, might get its attention. Or maybe not. Okay. But I could probably do that in here, huh? Ah. That's how I get around. Okay, I don't see anything over there. Ooh, I could use this, though. Um. I don't see anything else, so. I'm gonna make my way through here. Imagine there's gonna be one in here. Or it's gonna come this way. Oh yeah, it's one right there. Oh, it's a ladder. Let's look through these vents first. It's very. I've I've heard this game compared a bit in atmosphere to Bioshock, and from what little I have seen of Bioshock, this section of the game does seem very Bioshocky. It certainly has a different feel than the the game up till now, which felt more like the original, uh, Bendy and Ink Machine, just a bit more fleshed out. Also, I have not seen Porter in a while, and I'm disappointed. Alright, here's hoping. Okay, no jump scare, that's good. Well, yet. Alright, seem to be- oh. I think I see something I need to do. Alright, cool. Here's hoping nothing's up here. 
Unsafe area, yes, I would I would say so. Hmm. That looks Oh, that was sketchy right there. Alright, hopefully I don't hit this wall right here. Oh okay it worked. Alright, so let's see. I'll try going over here. Oh. It's not ideal. It's not ideal at all. Oh boy. Uh, I have to hope it just does not see me in here. Oh, okay. Right. I remember last time I was basically had to get like right up on it for it to detect me, so... Going back here should be alright. I guess these things are kind of like the projectionist in that you can theoretically beat them, but good luck. Okay, so I guess the question is, do I need to go to the growly door, or am I going the right direction here? This seems to be the right direction. I can't tell if this is uh, charged all the way or not. I feel like it isn't. That seems to be the case. I dare say I have like a... Uh, quite a bit of batteries, so I should be good on that front. Hmm. Well, I guess let's give this a pull. That's where the ghosts live. Oh, hello. Just beyond that door. But I could open the door for you. I do know how. I really do. Uh, thank you. That would... But, but first, maybe play a game? Oh, I love to play games. I like hide and seek best. Find me and I'll open the door for you. I promise. Look away while I hide and no peeking. <laughs> oh, okay. That does complicate things a bit. Oh, Heidi. Okay. Hmm, well, I imagine she's probably upstairs. It's kind of like... Well, I guess I need to search the hiding spots, maybe? That might be it. Any hiding spots in here? Well, I should probably look through the room thoroughly. Nope, not seeing her. I have a feeling she's upstairs. Okay, that was spooky. Can I, can I whack it? Hmm, don't think so. Mm, no, I cannot. Hmm, I don't think I'm gonna do any damage to it that way. Do need to get to that, uh... It's weird that it saw me then. I don't think it's ever seen me before here. Okay, well now it's probably my chance to get up here. Hmm. I doubt he's hiding any... I thought I heard... I hear her giggling. Hmm. Oh! There you are. That's cool. 
I might have to poke around that a little bit later. Uh, probably off. Probably off recording, as it were, but, uh... That... That sounds... That, that, that's pretty nifty. I honestly did not expect there to be fast travel. I guess you should have expected it, but uh, that's pretty cool. So, does that count as, like, my third ability, though? Possibly. I don't know if this it, is... Oh, hmm... I don't know if this correlate is, is the same as supposed to be the same as that. I don't know. I think I'll find out. Hmm, can I? Hmm. Can I eat a fast travel? I guess not. What's well, that? All oh, right, all right. This is a door. Uh, no kidding. Don't I have a badge though? Oh, it's just decontamination. Okay. I'm about to say, can I actually hide in that? The answer is I cannot. I didn't need that. Excuse me. Wait, is that Henry? Sir? Can you help me? You must be really lost to be asking me for help. Sounds right. I'm just looking for answers. About the keepers, Wilson, the cycle. Anything could help. What's your name? Audrey. What's yours? Honestly. I've almost forgotten. <sighs> My name is Henry. Why would you be a threat to them? I'm what they call a cycle breaker. Once upon a time, I knew how to start the cycle over. Turns out the Ink Demon himself is the key. This world is his, but even he must obey its rules. For now, at least. If you can get him to look at something very specific, it will reset everything. What is it? It's just a reel of film, labeled with the words, the end. I can see it in my mind every day. They keep it upstairs in the pit. I'll see if I can break in and steal it. Maybe if I reset the cycle, we could make things better for everyone here. And what about you? I just want to go home. So did I. Good luck, Audrey. If you need me again, you know where to find me. Ah, uh, not wrong. Didn't expect to find Henry, though. Ah, oh, shit. That didn't sound good. Well, cycle breaker seems to be the wrong word for it, in my opinion. I like, cycle resetters. I think cycle breakers would be something that breaks the cycle. Like, as in, the cycle doesn't continue. Are you worthy to walk with angels? Ah, this might be, uh, Alice Angel. I wonder why this didn't open. Oh, I guess this is a security lock. I mean, is he not here? Is he gonna jump spook me? No, actually not. That's surprising. That's a pit. So I guess the place with the, like, spider thing was not the pit. Don't like that sound. Oh, I guess it's just this, huh? Oh, fresh milk, huh? That's entry. Always hope. Well, I guess I'll push this. Is there a hiding spot? Hmm, there isn't. I'll find one real quick, just in case. Can I, can I get through here? I cannot, okay. Okay. 
Actually, there doesn't seem to be a hiding spot in sight, so... But you have to run for something, it's definitely gonna be running. Unless I'm just blind, but I don't... Uh oh. Oh. Oh dear. Is it blind? Seems to be... Well, I can't imagine... I can't imagine it's not supposed to happen, so... There's Wilson. A savior comes at last. Wilson? Oh, there he is. Hell, Audrey, you're still weak. The keepers can be relentless to strangers. But there's nothing to fear as long as I'm with you. This doesn't make sense. I've never done anything to you! Open your eyes and look around you. None of this makes sense. Drawn walls, nightmarish creatures, an ancient studio that died out almost 30 years ago. It's all fiction, utter nonsense. And yet, in here, it exists, the foundation for a new reality. We can bleed into our own. Just think of it. Anything we create in here, we can release out there. But first, this world must be controlled. Made safe. These Things. These angels and demons, are they really life? Or are they just stains? Old mistakes ready to be cleansed away for newer, greater things. What do you want from me? I need your help. To save my father's life. Your father's life? This is our star. We'll talk more once we're safely inside. Well, I mean, I guess I uh, admire his vision, although I would say the things in here do constitute being alive. Well, some of them at least. Where did Wilson get to? Oh, there you are. Who would your the father be? Evil continues Maybe to Henry. Spread. This world has begun to shut. Be quiet. What did you say? Nothing. It was nothing. Hmm. Well, to the civilized world. How do you like my signal tower? They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. Interesting. Hmm. It is interesting that my powers are also disabled. Hello? Bit stylistic, I see. If you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll deal with that soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Wait, Wilson? One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? I mean, he's got a point. Come along. 
And no more dawdling. This way now. It, he, he's, he's like somehow less creepier in his ink form than he was like in his real, real life. Finally having you with us. Now, to give you some bearings, we're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs. And then there's the north wing. The ink demon got in there a while ago. And ever since, we've had to keep the north wing locked up tight. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. All those juicy, lovely books gone to waste. Only keepers go there these days, and they'll tear you apart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. So, mind your distance, and you'll be just fine. All right, here we are. Best room in the house. You should see where I sleep. Ugh. <laughs> but this room, oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean, the bathroom is on the left. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. This is an inky place, so you're good. Oh, is it? oh, I can sit. Ah, it's not like my Amic throne, though. Alright, so let's see what we can do around here. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be significant. If it is, I can't interact with it yet. There was that. I read that. Can I talk to you? Yes, I can. Did you have any questions? Uh, yeah, what do I do next? Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although, I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But, Wilson will keep trying. And... Do you trust Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the Ink Demon. A shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. But Wilson takes care of me. Keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his... mother? Tell me, is that a good thing? Where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, I, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Ah. Uh, it's very fast. I see. Just follow the instructions. Carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. Well, Betty, given what I've seen from you so far, I would say Wilson saying you remind him of his mother is a positive. Well, I guess... Gilson. What's a Gilson? Oh, that's an ingredient. Oh, I thought that was like... I, I thought that was like the person who had written it down initially. Uh, prior to talking to her. So going here. I don't even know what he kills in. Oh, hello. Look at me. Yeah, pretty standard. That's a, hmm. There's an interesting jump got going on there. Maybe I can ask Betty for help? Oh, guess I'm going out, if I can. Now, there was a library I saw. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like l library is where I'm going. Well, she did say it was, like, cordoned off or something. Oh, conservatory. Uh, where's the library again? Hmm. Seems safe enough. Seems pretty normal, to be honest. Theory about spaces by Alan Gray. Wait, wasn't Alan Gray the uh, the guy that came asking from uh, the Gent Corporation? This doesn't help at all. 
It is interesting, however. So, yeah, it would seem uh, the studio here is kind of a pocket dimension of sorts. Imagine that's what I need. I'm going to look at this, though. So, oh. I'm looking for a fish. Oh. There's gotta be one here somewhere. Poor fish. Uh, I'm going to have to catch him. Now to explain why I can interact with stuff in here. If this was closer? Oh. I'm gonna guess. You're just giving me some Gilson powder or something. That did it. Nope. Looks like the fish is asleep. Well. Got you. you can't get away from me, you little stinker. <clears throat> Uh, hello. I, uh, uh, forgot the Gilson again, didn't I? Possibly. Um, yes, I'm already ground up in the kitchen, Oh, too. thank goodness. Uh, um, I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> oh, and, uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. He does so hate the dry air. Fair enough. Sorry about that, Harold. Now, just three sips of water. Or what passes is water here, I guess. One. Two. Three. Hopefully it... Oh, jeez. I guess that would explain why we didn't see her in the, uh... Containment area. Hope Betty's alright. 